Oil! You know that's why we went into Iraq. I know it. Everyone with half a brain knows it. And that includes the morons from Duck Dynasty and the idiots from Bush Dynasty. Right? <laughs> but no one from the government or the top of the military is ever supposed to say it out loud. In public, the lie that we went into Iraq to stop weapons of mass destruction is still yelled again and again with a fervor akin to me yelling my safety word when the dominatrix I've hired is digging her stilettos into my back while forcing me to watch the movie Catwoman. <laughs> she's, she's brutal. Last week she made me do taxes while watching Mitch McConnell speak. All right? <laughs> but no one in the top brass is ever supposed to say we went into Iraq for oil. Until now, we have an exclusive video in which General Petraeus, a former head of the CIA and leader of coalition forces during the war in Iraq, was introduced in front of the North Dakota National Guard by State Treasurer Kelly Schmidt. Schmidt acts Accidentally laid down a massive flaming pile of truth at the general's feet. And I'm pissing myself because I've always wanted to have exclusive anything. Even my exclusive relationships, it turned out, were shared by a few other guys. <laughs> but, uh, but watch this clip. To help make our nation and our world an energy independent country so that you and your fellow officers and, and enlisted folks never have to go over there again in order to fight for the oil that we all need. Oh, sh <laughs> That is a terrible introduction. I haven't seen an introduction that bad since the Italian Undersecretary of War, Carlo Favagrossa, introduced Adolf Hitler to a Girl Scouts crowd in 1941 by saying he might look like an angry lesbian Charlie Chaplin, but man, can he cook up a mean glass of genocider. <laughs> You were right. You were right on that one. You were right. Think about this. The war in Iraq, thousands of troops killed, over a million people killed. Admitting it was for oil would have war criminal written all over it. So I can only assume the general jumped up there on stage, Kanye Wested that mic and said, I'll let you finish in a minute, all right? But Iraq was one of the greatest wars of all time. And, and we did it because there were a horrible WMD that somehow disappeared in the middle of the night like a tooth fairy, you know, with, 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 with a tooth left out for the tooth fairy. Yes, it was the WMD fairy. That's exactly what it was, all right? It, it took them and it left billions of dollars under the pillows of military contractors. But we would never kill a million people for oil. Boom. Let's see if that's what he did. Well, thanks for that kind introduction. Thanks, uh, Kelly, for the kind invitation. We knew that this was the beginning, and I quote, for the, the severe summer weather awareness week. <laughs> <laughs> A little joke about the weather. Are you kidding me? And the scariest part, you're hearing about this from a comedy show. This, this video was obtained by Steve Horn at DSmog Blog, and this is the first time it's been on television. My bachelor degree is in fart noises, all right? Where is the media on this? I should not be the person bringing this to you. It's like if a dog delivered an original Rembrandt to your door, all right? You'd think FedEx is, is probably losing their mojo a bit. And it gets better. Petraeus was in North Dakota receiving a red carpet tour of the hydro fracking they're doing there because he now works for the private equity firm Kohlberg Kravitz Roberts. So this clip shows the revolving door between the Pentagon and private equity. It shows the collusion between the oil and gas industry and state governments. It shows that our wars have been for oil, not to deliver freedom to oppressed peoples. It shows that our media doesn't give a shit. And it shows that the interior design in North Dakota is a little drab. <laughs> Everybody should be shocked and furious about this. My senior thesis was on the centrifugal force created by a spinning bow tie, and I did it hoping, <laughs> hoping to stop accidents like Regis Philbin's dear decapitation from ever happening again, all right? <laughs> I should not be the one telling you about this, but here we are.